everybody, this is Zoe. Welcome back to my channel where I talk about all things photography. Today, we're going to edit some pictures that I shot yesterday of my little son Luke here. We did a little prince photo shoot in the park and I have about 100 photos from it that I really like that I wanna edit. And I wanna kind of show you Lightroom basics while I'm editing and you can kind of see how I use presets, how I use the Lightroom sliders, um, and just how I edit in Lightroom in general so that you might get familiar with Lightroom or if you're a complete newbie you can see how Lightroom can be a great tool to edit your photos. This video is most likely for beginners who've probably never used Lightroom and I'm gonna show you Lightroom basics from one to from one to zero from A to Z Lightroom basics from A to Z so let's get started all right, everybody, so we're gonna open up Lightroom here. So I'm gonna use Adobe Lightroom Classic because that's the classic Lightroom that I prefer. This is an old photo, so we're gonna go back to, you know, all photographs. So Lightroom opens up to the last picture that you edited. So these are all the pictures that are on my Lightroom from various adventures. So when you first open up Lightroom, you're going to want to import your uh, photos. So you can go to File, import photos and videos and it comes up with this slider and then you find your file wherever you have it on your computer um, so I'm gonna go to Zoe personal um, mommy and me so these are all the photos that I shot yesterday and I'm going to call so you just hit import um, but I don't want all of these selected because I use a different culling program um, so normally you can just choose the photos that you want here and you hit import but since I'm not doing that I use photo mechanic which is this and so these are all the pictures that I want to edit so I already have them selected and so I'm just gonna drag that into Lightroom Classic. So Photo Mechanic is my culling software. It makes it so much easier to just go through my photos and cull and figure out what photos I wanna edit. I used to use Lightroom, but Lightroom's really slow. And so I felt like it was a lot faster to use Photo Mechanic. So I'm just gonna hit import. And as you can see, it's slowly importing. So in Lightroom, what you can do is you can go through each photo. Um, get the select. Um, so you can like make stars. Like I, you know, if I didn't like this photo, or say example, I love this photo, but I can be like, yes, I want to star this. Yes, I want to shoot this. But you can. There's a little bit of a lag in between photos which is why I don't use um, Lightroom I'm Lightroom to call my images so anyway so all these pictures are pictures that I want to edit so let me let's start I'm gonna go back to the so on the bottom here are different icons so this lets you go back to the grid. This lets you see, the second icon lets you see an individual photo. This one compares two photos. So I wanted to compare this photo with this photo, but we're gonna develop. Actually, we're gonna develop and I'm going to pick the photo that I want to edit. So I'm gonna edit this one. So I have this one selected. I'm gonna go over to develop and that will bring up this photo, which I do not like. So I'm gonna switch, let's see, what photo I, I'm gonna edit this photo. So first, I'm gonna crop it. So to crop, you just hit this little crop icon, it's super easy. But I kinda want the, actually I'm gonna make this into a vertical. So I'm gonna reset, and then you're just gonna drag I want to have some of the trees in the background. So we're going to do that. And hit OK. Then I'm going to go over and choose my camera profile. So over on the right 
hand side, you'll see these little four icons. That's where you'll do the color matching, camera matching profiles. So usually I do faithful, so I'm gonna select that and then close it. And now on the left hand side, these are all my presets that I have. You might not have presets and that's fine. You can just go ahead and go on the right side to the basic um, <laughs> sliders. But I use, um, I'm gonna use um, a preset. So I use noble, noble presets and that's just a little bit green. Um, sometimes I use Maston Labs and sometimes I use Refined. I think I like Refined better today. So I'm gonna hit Refined and now I'm gonna go in Color Balance. So the first thing up at the very top is your Color Balance. You can make, you can do Auto and just have the computer pick for you. This was daylight, so, um, but usually I go as shot and then I just tweak it based on just what I, what I think works best for it. So for this one, it's a little magenta, a little too green. Um, and when you're shooting in grass, there's always green that bounces back up into the face, so it makes it a little bit hard, so I'm just gonna tweak that a little bit. Um, so if I turn this all the way, it's gonna be really yellow. So this is the temperature. So I'm just gonna make it what I think is a nice balance here. And then you can tweak the exposure. You can make it super bright, you make it super dark. Um, so exposure is just the light. And then I'm just gonna add a little bit more contrast because I think it'll make it pop. Um, we're gonna reduce a little bit of the highlights. It'll, it'll increase a little bit of the shadows. So you're just gonna play with this until it gets you where you want um, to be. So that looks really good. Um, I usually don't do very much with the tone curve, but you can if you want to. You can play with it here or here, or you can use this. But I usually leave the tone curve alone um, because I think the preset does a really good job. So I'm gonna reset that. I'm just gonna undo all of that. Um, this is where you can play the HSL is where you can play with the colors a little bit more. Um, but again, I kind of leave this alone because I, I like my presets and what they do, but you can play with it. Um, this is the detail and then you scroll down. I always check remove chromatic aberration and enable profile corrections. This tells you what your lens is. And then if you wanna add grain to your photo, you go down to effects and you can add grain. But I tend to like my photos clean. And then that's it. Um, then when you're ready to export this, you go up to file, export. And then this gives you the different options. So I always save it to the same photo as the original photo and I put it in a subfolder called um, edits. And there you go. And usually if, um, a photo is in the same like lighting situation, what you can do is I hold down command on my Mac and I click on the photo and you can hit sync. And you can do this for as many photos as you want. You hit sync and then I synchronize pretty much everything um, except for the crop because each photo is different and I don't do the transform because I wanna be able to crop every photo. Um, but it will get you close to the previous photo so I was, I'm just gonna brighten this one. And again, I'm just gonna crop it. Okay, so let's go to another set of images. Here, this one's totally different. Um, so again, let's see if I like Refined. And I, I think Refined might be okay, but let's try Noble Presets, which makes it a lot greener. So what I'm gonna go, I'm um, just gonna brighten it. gonna play around with the sliders. I'm just gonna crop it in a little. And Noble Presets adds grain to the photos, which I don't like, so I scroll down and I remove the grain. So there you go. That's looking good. So now I'm just going to hit Command, or I'm just, I'm just I'm gonna hit Shift, sorry. I'm going to hit Shift, and that's gonna select all of the photos that I want. Um, I'm gonna hit sync. 
And then I'll go back and make individual spots. This one just is a little too bright. So I'm just gonna crop it. And there you go. Now my son looks adorable. So um, you can hit this YY and it'll show you the before and after. So it just brightens it a little bit, just makes it a little pop out a little bit more. Um, so let's go to this set of images out that my husband shot of my son and me by this tree. Yeah, this one. So, do I want Noble? What do I want for this picture? The problem is when you have a ton of presets is that it's hard to choose. So I'm gonna choose Superior and I think that gives me as close to the image I want. And I'll link down to all the presets that I used in the description box below. Um, and I use them for different things. I use Mastin presets for a very long time and I love Mastin presets. I think they're the closest to film that you can get, but I also like the filmy, clean look of Noble presets and I'm just now experimenting with, with refined presets and I don't use refined that much, so I kind of regret my purchase there. But the presets help me edit a lot faster um, and so when you're beginning, you're probably going to experiment and buy a ton of presets that you'll never use. Like I bought a ton of presets that I will never ever use again and it was a waste of money. So I think you can do a lot without presets, um, but it just helps speed up my editing time. Alright, that has no grain and I think that picture is perfect. So if I were to not use any presets, let's try that. So we'll go and let's hit Faithful. I'm just gonna brighten it, probably add a ton of contrast. Let's see. Pull up my greens a little, add a little magenta. Um, let's see. Maybe I would play with this slider a little. with the color. <laughs> that plays with my dress, see? Whoa, I can get a green dress, what? <laughs> Let's see. That's usually what I would play with. do that. Here's the before and after. We got the presets and then you can zoom in and you can kind of see what it would look like. Trying to find your style is going to take time but with presets I think it helps a lot. Although I really did like my my edits just using um, the sliders in Lightroom too. So it just it depends. You just find what you like best, the style you like. The more that you edit the sooner you're gonna find the style that you like. So thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions or if you think this tutorial sucks, let me know. But this is how I edit um, using my presets in Lightroom and I hope that you find it helpful. I hope you guys have a great day and please like, share, subscribe to my channel and I will hopefully make more of these in the future. Have a great day.